Hi, I'm Ron Paul. I'm down here in this space working on the smart wood shop. I've got all of the cabinets in and most of the detailing done. And now I am into a production phase where I'm cutting up the half inch bases of the drawers, getting them all roughed out. And then once that's done, I'll set up for the dados and I'll, I'll be building a couple of jigs for cutting out the notches. So it'll be productive. It's not super interesting, but I am videotaping it. It'll be part of the series. I'll probably speed it up so that you can see the process, but not have to painstakingly go to, through every minute. I'll tell you one thing, that Moreland plywood, the ultralight uh, Moreland Company plywood that I got, the three quarter and the half inch, I am really enjoying working with that stuff. It's super light. It cuts really nice like butter. It's very attractive. I'm pretty excited. This is the nicest plywood that I've ever worked with. I've done a couple of videos talking about the Blum Mini Press. I did one on the um, Craig Pocket Hole Foreman and on this borrowed uh, Best Fence from Fast Cap that I set up quickly so that I'd have a miter stand because as you know, when I sold Art, the awesome rolling toolbox, Anthony took my benches, including the total station, which I really miss. What I haven't mentioned though is beneath all of this is a PCB, a Paul Compact Bench. This is actually one that I got the kit from FastCap and I did a video on putting this one together. And it's the exact same size as the PTS, the Paul Total Station. Uh, and it has worked out really well. So I, I've been, a, I set up the Blum on the other side with my boxes and I showed building those in another video, and these actually work for both the foreman, by flipping them up, they're taller to this height, and laying them flat, they're this height. So I'm able to, in this three by six space, I'm able to uh, punch all the holes in, the, in my cabinet sides. Here I'm able to cut my pocket holes without moving anything, and then my miter stand is set up here. So I've found that this, uh, works out really well and I've done stuff like this before I have my larger benches what's really nice is that I've got another Paul compact bench over to this side where I'm using for my table saw work in some assembly and this one is one that I built from scratch and did a video on that so you can go back and look at that if you're interested in building your own and there is a set of plans available for that to build it yourself so it's, it's been interesting, you know, it's just a, I'm having to be super productive when I am in a place where I'm not as efficient as I normally am because the awesome rolling toolbox is gone and the smart wood shop is not quite here. So everything is on shelves and I got those uh, big toolboxes back at Christmas time from Costco and I was gonna use them in the trailer uh, I got the locking, you know, the, the each drawer has a, a latch on it so they didn't have to lock up the whole box. And so I shopped really hard. They're great boxes, but I have found for my efficiency, those little drawers, too many drawers, there was just no way to, to get the customization I needed for the way I want it to work. And when I say customization, I actually mean uh, not as custom as you would think. I want it more generic so that as my tools change over the years, the smart wood shop can evolve for those new tools. I get into those little drawers, there's too many drawers to open, things are divided up too much. And so those toolboxes, as soon as I load the smart wood shop, they're going on Craigslist and they're out of here. I just don't need them. Uh, they're great boxes, but again, the drawers are too small, too many drawers, and it decreases my efficiency and my production. If you've watched my other videos, you know I'm not into custom, you know, little boxes like those toolboxes you get and tools are in. They just, they slow me down. I want my stuff opened up, available, and not locked down or tied up or so I've got to open a lid or, op you know, so. Anyway, um, it, it works for me and it's worked for me for a long time. So that's why, for those asking, I'm not using the boxes in the design. I've had enough time using them down here to know that they just don't work for me and my workflow. If you like these videos, if you want to follow along with the Smart Wood Shop, there is a series coming.
there's a lot of videos being recorded every single day and I've, I've been taking the time to ingest them and to label them and get them all organized but I still have to start the edit from day one. It's going to be a lot of work but I think it'll be a lot of fun. It's going to be all voiceover which will be great. I'll be able to uh, cut the videos down to the, the juicy stuff, the informative stuff and talk you through it rather than trying to cut in where I'm in the shop like now talking directly to you. Uh, it'll be, I think it'll be more efficient and hopefully more interesting, more entertaining. If you do want to follow along, be sure to click on that subscribe button and also click on that bell so you can be informed immediately when I put a new video up. And don't forget, those thumbs buttons are right there. Do you like this video or not like this video? I'd like to know either way. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.